For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to remediate SSH vulnerabilities. So basically, these vulnerabilities will come in most of the uh, older versions, CentOS 5 or uh, RHL 5, RHL 6, RHL 7. Okay. So if you want to remediate them, so basically this is the scan report from the security um, software. So whenever you scan the server, you get this something like this, saying that your uh, server is having some risk, which is low, and the IP address of this one, and SSH weak, MAC algorithms enabled. So the remote SSH server is configured to allow either MD5 or 96 bit Mac algorithm both of which are considered weak so which are actually a weak algorithms uh, which are configured on SSH and saying that uh, contact your vendor and uh, resolve this issue and uh, the second one is uh, SSH server CBC mode cyber enabled and the server is configured to support cipher block chain chaining CBC encryption this may allow to attacker to recover the plain text message from cipher text. So this is very, very dangerous whenever we enable this type of weak ciphers on your system. Hackers may catch that plain text message, which might be a username and password. Then they can get these credentials from your server. So how to resolve this issue? Let's uh, jump into the server and see some of the uh, settings how you can change and how you can resolve this issue so this is my server basically this is my uh, centos 8 server centos 8 let's look it up this one centos 8 8.4 so this one may not have that weak uh, ciphers but still if you want to update the ciphers in a similar way how you can update this one so these ciphers we have to update in a configuration file called uh, slash etc ssh ssh d underscore config file here you have to update the uh, ciphers but what method you have to follow so how you have to update the ciphers and what are the supported ciphers on this uh, server so basically whatever the server you have so you have to go to man page of sshd underscore config file and here look for the cipher now what you will get it here is that you will get this cipher list here copy this cipher list into your notepad file then copy your max here are the max supported copy this and put them into the comma separated values so both of them in a two lines one is on a cipher line another is on a max line and put them into the comma separated value now edit this configuration file go all the way down r you might be cipher type cipher so there is a one cipher entry over here you can add it over here that would be easy for you now what you have to do is that you just copy paste them whatever you put them into the one liner here so here what you have to do is that first one is put cipher c is on a capital and there is no spelling mistakes here and max m a c -E s s is on a small so you put it all of these values in a comma separated and save them then restart your sshd service after that verify this state of this service so whether it is running perfectly fine or not then if it is running perfectly fine then verify this one with verbose a larger verbose with this and say it might be connecting to my local server 
and see whether do you want to accept the fingerprint and provide the password so now it is connected successfully to the same system and you can go up all the way up and come little bit down and see here on the debugging you can see that what is the algorithm which is using over here you can see that and what is the max it is using you can get this list of those details over here so how it is connecting whether it is using the older algorithms or it, it is using the newer new ones you can see this one all of these are so some might be sometimes what you may get is that you may get some issues while connecting if you are using win cpr file zilla so you have to uh, adjust the values accordingly so you might uh, read this content from the file zilla saying that some of the ciphers are not supported or you have to update your file zilla software to support the ciphers from there that's about the um, resolving the issue of this ssh vulnerabilities otherwise you can also use this um update open ssh package sorry open ssh package so this will resolve the issues so first of all you have to update this package and change this uh, configuration of the ciphers that would be most helpful so there is no depend there is no updates basically this is already up to date 